Kampala city and other towns have suffered improper disposal of diapers with several dumped on pathways, trenches and garbage sites despite the health risks associated with them. <laughs> Over the last decades, there has been an increase in the global usage of disposable diapers, which was a huge transition from the use of cloth diapers. Although majority of modern breastfeeding mothers prefer diapers for their infants, especially in cities and towns, environment and health experts say these destroy the environment since they contain absorbent chemicals such as synthetic fibers and dews which are dangerous to the soil. According to the World Health Organization, used diapers should first be rinsed before being discarded to ensure raw human waste does not get disposed of in landfills. These guidelines are, however, very unlikely to be followed by any consumer. A group of youth in Uganda under their organization, the Ghetto Research Lab, based in one of the city slums, Kamocha, however, seem to have found a solution to this problem. John Wesley Chamuzi is the organization's co-founder. This diaper brick, uh, we train almost 300 women around our community how to, uh, to utilize the little diapers because we are the first in the world to find the solution for the little diapers. He explains what happens and how it is done. We give them the protective gears, they protect it, they remove the insider one, then we take it to the compost pile where we make the fertilizer. Then the remaining, you pack it here, then we build the toilet for public use around our community. We have so far built eight toilets around the ghetto of Kampala. He takes me around and shows me what was made out of these used diapers. Uh, this uh, toilet was constructed, was launched in this year, and we are funded by the Alayas and the Aga Khan. So it is a diaper bottle toilet. So we fix the diapers in the bottle. So we train the women in the communities of Kamocha on how to fix the diapers, the little diapers in these bottles. We built it and it is working for the community. It has four stories, two for, uh, uh, for young children and then the two for the adult. So the main net is not for it is not a pit latrine, but it is a compost paste toilet where we collect all the human waste, where we turn it into the, the best compost manure, which is rich in carbon and nitrogen. So it earns money to the youths which are working on it. The fertilizers are sold to the farmers at a low price. I think the farmers can get something, even the youths can get something. He says, with mindset change, what seems to be an environmental problem at the moment can actually be turned into something beneficial and a source of income for the youth. Uh, almost 8,000 bottles are on this toilet. Each bottle cont uh, was bought from women each 500 shillings. You can see that the community is earning some money. In each bottle, like how many pumpers can get in there? Uh, uh, around 150 to, hun to 200 pumpers. In one bottle? Yes, in one bottle. You can imagine if they are rooted around and they are left around the community, you can see how much pump has been built and they have no solution unless the ghetto research lab which came up with a solution to the little diapers. Mm -hmm.